Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sara. I make beauty videos and makeup related videos twice every week. So please subscribe if you haven't already and also click on the bell because I make videos twice a week. So you will get notified every time I upload. Otherwise it's just going to be a subscription lying on the side. So today I'm going to talk about some disappointing makeup products. I feel like I like to do these videos more than I like to do my favorites videos. Uh, I do want to do a favorites. Maybe I'll do a July favorites video because I do have a lot of products that I have liked recently but I also at the same time have products that I didn't like. You all know I keep hauling makeup, I keep buying makeup, I don't get sent makeup like other YouTubers just yet but uh, I do buy a lot of makeup and test it out and uh, a lot of it works, a lot of it does not. So today I'm talking about all the makeup that did not work out for me. Maybe some of these products are your holy grail, they may be the favorites in your collection but definitely remember that what works for you may not work for me and same goes for the other people it's different for skin tones skin types and all of that so i'm going to talk about what i didn't like let me know in the comments if these are the products you didn't like as well i'm going to start first with this pack zero pore separation cream i do like pack products basically i do like their range their variety their skin inclusive uh, skin tone inclusive nature i love the brand but this primer in itself the pack zero pore separation cream it has a very um it comes like this and it's like transparent it, it kind of boils up it has a very it doesn't have a scent to it, I don't think the scent ever bothered me but it, it's got this uh, sticky, very very sticky silicone consistency this one falls up like uh, how do I explain once I apply this primer and then I go for foundation and when I'm blending the foundation it kind of like releases those balls and emphasizes texture on my skin so I'm not really a big fan of that primer I've never actually used it apart from the one time I used it I did not like it for me once a product does not work I need, really need to get it out of my cabinet and out of my vanity because I don't really have very big vanity I just have two drawers of makeup so as soon as something works it's in my favorites and does not work out because I cannot hold makeup I don't have so much space in my house next product I don't have a foundation I've not liked recently like always like I think in my last disappointing products also I did not have a foundation uh, the next product is this pack oh my god shit I love pack as a brand okay I didn't know that there are two pack products in this video this is a pack take cover concealer crayon uh, this is in the shade day 33 so it's a contouring shade it's very very dark brown as you can see I'm gonna swatch it uh, I used it in a video this is very very difficult to blend guys it's very very thick very tough to blend so as a contour I don't know as a concealer how it would work but because it's so thick and I would have to like drag it under my eyes if I'm using it as a concealer I don't like pencil crayon concealers like this because you will be tugging your under eyes so much you're gonna create bad wrinkles over there so I do not prefer such concealers anyway this is actually supposed to be a concealer I got a dark shade so that I can use it as a contour but it does not blend for the life of me you'll keep blending and those lines those harsh lines will always be there I actually wanted to involve this in the last disappointing products but forgot so that's why it's in today's video that's why I have two pack products unfortunately but this concealer is also not something I recommend neither for contour nor, nor for concealing because it's very very thick and tough to blend up. Okay now I don't know what to say but I have three palettes here to talk about three palettes that did not work out for me three palettes that have been with me since the start of my makeup journey and I actually have an attachment to these so I didn't want to discard them but right now I need to realize that I have better palettes I have better eyeshadow and face palettes and better products and I don't actually use these so I need to get rid of it the first palette I need to talk about is the Makeup Revolution Euphoria palette now if you remember a series of my first videos if you are an OG subscriber uh, the initial videos did have me using this palette and this is in the shade Bare. This was the first product I ever hauled on Nykaa. My first Nykaa haul was at the age of 17 and uh, me and my friend Aditi hauled the same palette together. We got the shade Bare because we thought oh my god what a perfect palette. It has eyeshadow, it has highlight, bronze uh, and blush. It's, it's everything a person needs. It's everything a beginner needs. But this color did not work for me. She is pretty fair. She's a fair skin tone. So this does work for her because these three colors right here are gorgeous. 
this bronzer is perfect it does no it's a matte bronzer so it's a very nice matte bronze uh, but it's a very smooth bronzer somebody who's really really fair it will work beautifully for them this highlight is blinding i love this highlight for the longest time just look at this just look at this highlight i think makeup revolution makes the best highlighters hand down i love these highlighters i love all the highlighters they come out with but uh, this highlight is also stunning but as you can see it's white and i'm dark skin tone i need a gold flexed highlight i cannot use white highlights i have used this in uh, videos in the past uh, but i have now realized that i cannot be using a white highlight because it will be like a stripe of uh, glow and not like a subtle sheeny glow and where is this blush is considered it's also a very pretty blush but because it has shimmer flex in it i don't see myself use it but somebody who would want to buy this palette i think this is for 1200 i'm not really sure i will put the price over here but these three products are beautiful if you're fair skin if you're my skin tone it's not going to work for you it's going to be nuts and these eye shadows i think my favorite color is this purple which i've used in a tutorial over here it's very very gorgeous i've used it on my channel in a tutorial but it's sort of chalky it's sort of like not very easy to blend but this this has hands down my favorite brow bone highlight look at this highlight just look at this highlight my hands are now a mess but just look at this it's beautiful in the inner corner it will glow but just for one color i don't go to this palette i know i like i like this palette as a whole and that's why i did promote it on my channel but only if your fair skin will the the will the face part of this work for you and on the eyes i only like the colors if you notice or uh, these pale pinks these pale pinks will not show up on my eyelid they will not show up at all so just for two beautiful colors i don't reach out to this entire palette because then i have other palettes which will give me a full blown eye look so that's why since the time i've bought in more products i've not liked it it's disappointing to me because i wish they had more shades i wish they came out there's a bare and there's another color but both of their contours and highlights are not made for dusky or dark skin tone so i wish they were more inclusive they had more shades in their face palette so that more people could get the most of it if these face products work for me i would definitely keep it but since it doesn't i'm afraid not the next eyeshadow palette is also by makeup revolution and this one i do not like i do i hands down don't like this palette this is the eyes like angels palette it comes in this beautiful silver packaging It has all the shades behind, and it has 35 colors. This is from their 35 eyeshadow palette sheet. Now, let me just tell you out there that Makeup Revolution makes the best eyeshadow collections. Like they do their colors right, they do their color selections right. I really like the brand because it's very creative when it comes to which colors to put in a palette and all of that. I love their highlights. I love the formula they use on their highlights. Even the liquid highlighters are something. It's in my dream list to buy makeup products to buy. I will buy it someday. But uh, apart from saying that, their eyeshadow formulas really don't work. I I really feel they don't work. Their pricing is also amazing. I think fifteen hundred for the eyeshadow palettes you get is good. But look at this. Doesn't it look like a dream palette to you? Like thirty-five beautiful shades. I would get every eye look of this amazing palette. After I have this, I will not need anything else. This is what I thought when I actually bought it. I'm telling you, this was out of stock. I put my message on Nykaa saying notify me when it uh, comes in stock. I was waiting for it to come in stock because it was fifteen hundred. I remember very clearly. I had gotten my pocket money saved up fifteen hundred. only for this palette and i was waiting 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 to, for it to come back so as soon as it came back i purchased it i was so happy to have it i just kept using it and it did not work for me like i'm i'm telling you i have only gotten two uses out of this palette and both the times my eye look was horrible like i just kept blending 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 and back in the day i didn't know so much so blending 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 it became such a big horrible eye look that It was just not blending with each other on my eyes. I'm telling you, this palette does not have any crease colors. It has no matte. Firstly, it smells like crayons. It smells like my childhood crayon color pencil collection. It smells horrible. On top of that, these colors are my hands are dirty. I need to wipe them. Just okay. So, like I was saying, I'm going to swatch a few of these shades and show you what I'm really talking about. Just look at this color selection first. Have a good look. 
There are no mattes, no browns, no crease colors in this, so you cannot get one complete eye look with this because you definitely need your transition shades. Now let me dive into a few colors: this green right here, this orange, this lilac, this pink. Some of our favorites. Just look at the pigment; looks beautiful, doesn't it? But these colors on the lid are crackly, like. Okay, this you will not use in the crease. You will not use all the shimmer shades in your crease. So you're gonna lip put this on with your finger or maybe a brush. You just lip put it on your lid, but it just crackles up. It does not stay long. It it will fall off. It will give you a lot of fallout, and it will not stay and stick on your lids and does not show up that much on your lid. The way it showed up on my fingers, the way it showed up on my hand swatch. This is not the way it's going to show up on the lips. You'll see me use my Jaclyn Hill palette. My eye looks are bold. Uh, they are very pigmented. Even my ColourPop palette are very pigmented. Now you all will say, Sara, we cannot afford Morphe or we cannot get Morphe and ColourPop to India because customs and all of that. If you really want to buy a ColourPop palette. Uh, go on to pages like International Makeup India. I will leave a few handles in the description whom I trust to buy makeup internationally. I have bought makeup from these pages, and they are they definitely are trustworthy. That's legit makeup. They will charge you a little extra than what you pay abroad. So you will get a good ColourPop palette for say a thousand, thousand fifty. Thousand five hundred, like fifteen hundred rupees, which is how much you pay for this palette as well, and you will get ten thousand more uses out of your ColourPop palette than you will ever get of this palette. These are not colors you are going to use every day. These are not colors you will even use for a wedding because if colors don't stay on your eyelid, then what is the point? What what will you just apply it and just get out of the house and it will not be as glamorous as it was when you were at home. I know I spoke a lot about that palette, but I really want to give my justification because I know with what. Ambition, I got it, and for me as a person, I'm a teenager. I save my money and buy makeup. So when it goes to waste, it really hurts me. And for me to get rid of that palette is a really big deal. I thought I would use it on my shows, you know, when I was doing the fashion show in my college, and every day I had to put eyeshadow on all the models. I thought I would use this palette, and it would work, you know, just walking the ramp, five minute walk. They can wear this eyeshadow and go, but it was not. Like applying on their eyelids. Even my friend Pooja was doing their makeup. She was like, "Sara, it's falling off. It's not looking good. What to do?" Uh, then I was like, "Forget it. Just use my Jaclyn Hill palette and just we just rolled with that." The final product I have is the not the final product. It's the final eyeshadow product. It's the Sivana color. It's the twelve color eyeshadow palette. Now this is what it looks like. It opens like this and it has a double decker. Uh, so it goes. I think one second. Yeah. So it's got this double decker thing going on. So you get shadows over here, and you get shadows over here, and that's a good deal. It's a good deal for the price. I'm pretty sure this is very, very inexpensive. Savannah Colors is an indie brand. I do love the brand. I love their blushes. I love their blushes. They have a good, nice blush palette. I love their a smoky pink neutral palettes. They are my favorites. The cheap ones, the 150 rupees ones. This might be a little more expensive. I think it's 400, 500 rupees. I love their bronzer also. It's my favorite bronzer. But this one is not good. This this eyeshadow palette. It comes in variants as well. This is in the shade 02. Pooja has it in the shade 01 or something, and it has more smokier tones. But these colors, these pinks, they are just not pigmented enough. They are very, very chalky. Like you can see, you can barely see any pigment. Uh, it will not translate well on your eyes. Not look good. So this particular palette from Sivana Colors is not a good one. I like the other products. This one, you might feel, oh, it's a good palette. I get my pinks over here, and underneath, down in the second decor, I get my browns and my golds. It's it's what every girl needs. But no, the formula is crap. Now I have this Elf. Um, Molten liquid eyeshadow. This is in this shade rose gold. I tried this in my haul video, the huge makeup haul I did. Haul I did from US. Uh, this eyeshadow is so bad. It's so bad. Just look at it. It looks stunning. But when you put it on the eyelid, your eyelid will burn, and it will also get translated on top. I used it and I didn't like it in the video itself. I said it's crap and I threw it aside. And I use my ColourPop Supernova shadows. Apart from this, this is very inexpensive. It's four dollars. So that's the reason I purchased it. And I bought one for my sister as well. I bought her the shade Copper. And even she called me up or told me the next day, Sara, is that is did I get a bad product or is it not good or do I not know how to use it? 
I said no, it's bad. It, it didn't work for me as well. So this does not work. This motel liquid shadow eye wish it worked. It does not wet. It does not even dry up. And it will just blend out. So that's why it will like translate on your lid. It's not really a good product. Uh, next product I want to talk about is a Nykaa product. Now I don't know why there was a comment on my Nykaa liquid lipstick review that I'm getting paid by Nykaa and I'm not doing all this for business and blah 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 blah. And my reviews are not honest. Like really, guys, I've kept my reviews honest from day one and told y'all I am not here for the sponsorships. I just need to give out the correct message because I, as a person, have been for like. Gotten into the reviews of lot of YouTube reviews and bought products which didn't work. So I want to keep my reviews honest and not sponsored. And if if a company wants to sponsor me, I will first test the product out and then be like, okay, I like it. I will accept the sponsorship. That's the only way I will work in the future, which is way, way, way in the future from now. It doesn't come so easy to anyone, but definitely if I don't need to give justifications, y'all are my subscribers. Y'all know I'm honest. I'm going to talk about this Nykaa Win Nykaa Black Magic Liquid Liner. Now I love eyeliners and I love using eyeliners on a daily basis. Lakme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner. This one right here is my holy grail. It's what I've used since the time I've used eyeliner. But uh, this is matte, so I wanted to try a shine eyeliner. So that's why I went with this Nykaa eyeliner. I do like the felt tip. It's very easy to apply. I think I got a defective one because it has a little twing to it. It goes a little up. So also, it's also only three fifty rupees. So it's inexpensive. I do like the wand and everything else, and even the pigment is. It's pretty black. But what I don't like is the consistency because it's so watery. Once the one swipe you will do, it will look a little sheer, and then when you go for a second swipe, it's watery. So it kind of gets in my tear duct and like becomes a little black hole over there. So it's a little tough to work with, but I'm still gonna keep using it. I don't completely hate it. I'm gonna use it up completely. I'm keeping it with me because for for the days I don't want a matte eyeliner. A shine eyeliner will do, so I can use it for college every day and get get it over with. But I will not repurchase this product. So if you've not purchased an eyeliner, I don't recommend the Nykaa Win Eye Liquid Liner. Maybe the other liners are better. I like their Kajal also, but this one is very very liquidy, very difficult to work with. Uh, the wand is nice, but the formula isn't. Okay, fine. I'm tired. Two mascaras right here. Uh, So quickly, gonna talk about these. This is the I Love Extreme uh, Volume Mascara Waterproof Version from Essence. I spoke about this in my Dubai haul, so I'm not gonna talk too much about this. Y'all know I told y'all I don't like it that much. You have to really, really work it in to get that volume lashes. So although it says I Love Extreme Volume, it doesn't love. The extreme volume. I don't see it loving anything. Uh, it it hugs my lashes well, but I have to work it in and work, 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 work. So I'm gonna keep it with me because I bought it from Dubai. It's new. It's not expired or anything. So if I can really work and make it work for as long as I can, I will keep it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it, and I will not repurchase it. That's why I put it in this video. Uh, finally, this is the Wet n Wild Matte Spanish Cat Eye Mascara. Uh, this sucks. This just sucks. I'm just gonna say it hands down. I love Wet n Wild as a brand. I know they have amazing affordable product. I have tested their quite a lot of products on a video. Also, I will leave the link in the description. This wand is amazing. Like, look at this wand. It will coat. It will take all your lashes and coat it. But coat it with what? <laughs> the mas the masala. I'm saying the mascara's formula does not have like dumb nahi hai mascara. Me aisa. लगता नहीं है कि यू नो यूर वेरिंग मस्कारा यू जस्ट फील लाइक यू जस्ट कोटेड इट एंड कोम योर लैशेज बट इट्स नॉट एडेड वॉल्यूम लेंथ एनीथिंग सो इट्स गोइंग टू गो इन द बिन दैट्स डन एम आई डन ओ फाइनल 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 द मिस क्लेयर आई लैश ग्लू इज माई फाइनल प्रोडक्ट फॉर दिस वीडियो ये दिस आई लैश ग्लू सब इट डज नॉट स्टिक माई लैशेज इट्स वेरी वेरी वॉटरी इट्स इन पेटिंग पैकेजिंग बिकॉज वंस आई आस्ट माई फ्रेंड्स टू गेट मी आई लैश ग्लू एंड देवर ऑन द वे एंड वी हैव टू गो फॉर माई सिस्टर्स functions and I wanted to apply lashes so I was like please get me lash glue I need to apply lashes and they were like yeah 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 we are getting you and then they got me this and I already knew that the Missle lash glue sucks so I need to put the message out there that please don't buy it I know it's only 175 rupees very very inexpensive so everybody would want to buy it this was my first lash glue ever but it's very watery very runny a sort of itches my eye and does not stick lashes very well Go for the Euro Paris Lash Glue. I think it's two hundred to twenty-five rupees, which is amazing. 
fair slash low hands down euro palace slash low you will get it at your beauty centers this is it i'm done these were my disappointing products okay guys so this was it finally we are done with this video these were my disappointing products it's the mid of the year so i'm just going to call it disappointing products 2018 uh these are products that did not work for me if they worked for you well and good let me know in the comments if some of these you've tried and you didn't like uh these didn't work for me and i have a lot more makeup that i reach out to more often than i do to this these might work for someone else so i don't really throw makeup out i'm going to donate it to somebody who does not have makeup at all or who would just like to enjoy these products i only use my products once or twice and i know that it will not work for me so i will give it away to somebody who needs it uh this was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed hit the like button if you did enjoy this video and comment below let me know which other products You'll want me to review so that I get to buy them really soon. Now there's more room for more makeup, uh, but really seriously, I need to stop buying makeup. My money gets over in that. I don't have money to go out. Uh, okay, okay. All jokes aside, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Mwah.